My name is Jin Li, and it's my pleasure to be here to present our work, Magni, Morphable Eyeglasses and Avatar Network. Our goal is to revolutionize the virtual avatar experience by reconstructing realistic eyeglasses. We have developed a cutting-edge method that enables the seamless composition of morphable eyeglasses on virtual faces. Our model can produce photorealistic rendering under various lighting conditions, allowing for immersive experience with accurate illumination effects. But that's not all. Our method can incorporate precise lens insertion, complete with authentic refraction and refraction. This means that our method can have eyeglasses that interact with their surroundings, creating a realistic visual experience. Please join us in the poster session, and we are looking forward to sharing the exciting detail of our work. What are the challenges in eyeglasses modeling? The first challenge is how to parameterize the multiple eyeglasses such that we can interpolate and span the entire distribution of eyeglasses. And in fact, eyeglasses may have different topology and consist of different materials. Besides, modeling eyeglasses alone is not sufficient for competition with facial avatar. We have to incorporate interaction between face and eyeglasses. This interaction includes non-local appearance effects, such as shadow, and also the physical contact of face and eyeglasses will cause deformation and motion to each other. In this paper, we introduce a generating model to support photorealistic rendering with topology change. We also propose the joint modeling of eyeglasses and face to incorporate the geometry and photometric interactions. Before devolving into the details of our methodology, let's have a quick glimpse on our results. Here we showcase the immersive relighting capability of our method on both face and eyeglasses. And notably, our method successfully captured the subsurface scattering phenomenon, as exemplified in the middle eyeglasses. Here we compared with the previous method, Video Editor, which is an image-based editing method. The left is the input video, and the middle is the result from Video Editor. The right is our result. We can see the Video Editor failed to achieve temporal and view consistent synthesis. In contrast, our method achieves 3D consistent rendering. In this comparison, we compare our method alongside with the previous state-of-the-art technique, Gelato. On the left, we have the ground truth, while on the right, we showcase our result in comparison with Gelato's output. Due to the simplified geometry representation of Gelato, the lake geometry details and suffer from inaccurate occlusion boundaries. In contrast, our model produced a significant sharper result and handled the occlusion correctly in a 3D consistent manner. This is the overview of our method. It has two major components, the morphable geometry and relatable appearance. First, we learn the morphable geometry of face and eyeglasses model. The primary focus of this step is to learn good geometry and motion of eyeglasses conditioned by facial expressions. The morphable geometry has four networks, the eyeglasses geometry decoder, the face geometry decoder. Beside modeling the face and eyeglasses alone, we have the eyeglasses deformation decoder. And we also have the deformation on face side as the face deformation decoder. Last, we compose these four components together to get our face and eyeglasses geometry modeling. Here we show the training progress of our model. As you can see, the eyeglasses geometry is initialized as three plane placed in front of the face. And during the learning of the system, the geometry of the eyeglasses becomes sharper and accurate. After the morphable geometry training, we get a result like this. It can support the interpolation between different shapes of eyeglasses. Besides modeling face and eyeglasses alone, our method also model the deformation of face caused by rolling eyeglasses. On the left, we have the ground truth, while on the right, we showcase with and without face deformation. It's clear that modeling the deformation is critical to reproduce real-world interaction of eyeglasses and face. And here, the most significant difference is the nose and air region of the head. In addition to model the deformation on face, we also take into account the deformation of eyeglasses. As you can see here, even if the same glasses are worn by different people, they will have different degree of deformation. And it is especially evident 
in the opening of the two legs of the eye glasses, which can significantly change due to the difference of the shape of the face. After training the morphball geometry, Ness will freeze the geometry and motion module and focus on modeling the relatable appearance. We have three major components for relatable appearance modeling. The first is the relatable face appearance. And the second is the relatable eyeglasses appearance. And the third is the appearance interaction layer, which models the shadows. These three components will compose together to generate the full relighting output. Here is the output of train relatable appearance. The left box is our render result. The middle is the eyeglasses shadow on face, and the right is our geometry. You can see how our model will realistically reproduce the shadow on face. To recap, we first train the geometry, and then we freeze the geometry and train the relatable appearance. To train our model, we capture three different datasets. Eyeglasses dataset, face dataset, and face whirling eyeglasses dataset. In eyeglasses dataset, we collect multi view images of eyeglasses and reconstruct its meshes. In this video, we show the multi view inputs and also the reconstructed meshes of 43 eyeglasses. To model the complex interaction between face and eyeglasses, we capture a face dataset and a face whirling eyeglasses dataset. For face dataset, we have captured 25 people without wearing any eyeglasses. And for face whirling eyeglasses dataset, each person wears two randomly assigned eyeglasses. We capture each subject with different facial expressions under different lighting. Despite being trained with only one LED at a time images, we can also relight the face and eyeglasses under environment lighting. Thanks to our hybrid representation, we can successfully incorporate lens insertion into our eyeglasses rendering pipeline. And as you can see here, how the lens refraction and refraction is properly modeled in our method, and it achieves the appealing 3D consistent rendering. Our model also supports few short reconstruction. Here we show the reconstruction result of three unseen glasses. Each of them is reconstructed by using only 15 images under full leaf lens. Notably, our multiple and relatable appearance models share the same latent code. Hence, the future reconstruction using only fully illumination can be rendered for novel illuminations. So in conclusion, I just introduced Magni. It supports the adding and changing of eyeglasses on face. It's relatable. Our models support the geometry and photometric interactions between face and eyeglasses. Our models support adding lens on eyeglasses with realistic refraction and refractions. Lastly, our generating model supports future fitting on unseen glasses. Thank you.